string of short, snappy episodes of Digital Futures, I'm on the road, literally, hunting down some fascinating startups and their eclectic founders. Now, they're either what I call lifestyle tech, that is to do with our everyday lives, food, fashion, finance, families, or they're using what may feel to many of us like high-tech digital tech, artificial intelligence, VR, big data, but really stuff that is quite simple and applying them to mainstream areas and making them feel palatable. This time, I found entrepreneur Melinda, whose app promises to be your daily coach through that one and only life-changing experience that us women have to go through, pregnancy and childbirth. Baby to Body gives new and expectant mums personalized guidance and inspiration on demand to stay active and remain well through pregnancy and beyond. This team of beauty, nutrition and fitness pros believe firmly that a healthy, happy, confident mum goes side by side with a healthy baby. And they want to bring you unbiased, expert insight throughout your pregnancy. They will set you free once your child's around three, but hey, by then hopefully you've got the hang of it all. Okay, Melinda, let's talk. Thanks for doing this. Thank you for being here. So let's start by sort of going back to the basics. What sparked the idea off? It actually started when I was pregnant with my son. And I was looking for more information around how to live healthier during pregnancy and how to optimize my health, how to have a healthier baby and all the things I could and couldn't do, what was safe, what was not. And there was such, um, like, there was, no, there was nothing I could find out there and I didn't have enough time with my doctor to answer all these questions and he couldn't answer them either. So I started studying and, and looking for different ways to, to formulate something myself and, um, and then I discovered that, yeah, this is, could be a business. So I um, yeah. set it up and, yeah. and here we are a few years later. I know, well done. Thank so you. was there a sort of scribbling on the moment, uh, a sort of time when you went, oh my God, that's it, baby to body, so this, this is what it's going to look like, it's going to be an app, sure. it's going to do this, it's going to do that. How, just talk me through the sort of very early steps from conception to execution. Well, actually, it's taken quite a number of years. So they, you know, this whole thing of like, yeah, it just happened. It didn't yeah. just happen. Yeah. I mean, the idea sparked yeah. and then it became a, a lifestyle business, which I was a personal trainer and I was doing lots of courses and discussions and workshops and, and kind of things for women on a one-to-one -one basis and then I wanted to make it digital. Then I thought how can I take this to the rest of the world and then I started thinking about okay how can I use technology to actually scale this business mm -hmm. and to bring it to millions of women and not just hundreds mm -hmm. of women. So the business at first was like much more of a service orientated business and now it's become a digital platform and that was okay it's going to be digital and then what are the different elements and that's been kind of over the last two years we've been mm. sort of doing different things, doing emails, and now we just brought out an app a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we're still in the discovery process, yeah, but imagine. yeah, it's working so far. I like really that discovery well. process. <laughs> yeah. And actually that stage is so much a tweaking and pivoting and brainstorming that probably keeps happening, isn't it? Absolutely. We try things, um, are they working, are they not working? And being a startup, we can really yeah. like act quickly, really like, agile. okay, this is not working, yeah. let's try something yeah. different, yeah. or just tweak it a little bit and then see how that works. Mm. And you know, now with so much technology out there and so many tools that we can mm. use, mm. we don't even have to build a lot of it ourselves. It just makes total sense yes. to, to try things yeah. out. Digital tech is, awesome. is such an enabler, yes, isn't it? Absolutely. It can massively yeah. equip yeah. us with the tools we need for our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah. And for you guys that are actually yeah. building yeah. some of these Quite services, as you say, you're not having to do everything from the ground up. You can actually pull stuff in off the shelf, but then, the vision is still yours. Now, what keeps you up at night? Oh, a ton apart of things. From, apart from a child. <laughs> yeah. No, my children are now a little bit older. Um, so really, it's it's about scaling the business and finding the right people. So it's always difficult to find the right people, and I find hiring is um, is one of those things that's very time consuming because it's very important that we get the right people that are passionate about what we're doing. That also we're a brand with a purpose as well. We're creating a generation of healthier babies, and we want people to buy into that brand and to really understand what that purpose is behind the brand. And um, you know, it's not all about finding new moms to work for us it's 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 very different we need a, a, a lot of different skills mm. so i'd say that's one of the things mm. that keeps me up at night. yeah finding the right yeah. people yeah well what sort of then have you come across in terms of challenges when trying to scale up 
So I think it's, um, it's about choosing your marketing channels correctly. Um, I think that's one of the challenges. And it's, you know, although there are a lot of cha channels out there, you need to test them and you need to test them in a way that makes sense for your company, right? So some companies will test something and say, yeah, this works. And we've got our CPA, you know, the cost per acquisition down to X amount. And we need, you know, we have a budget. And because we're not monetizing yet, we need to get that right down. So it's about testing all of those different things and that's it is challenging it's fun as well and it's interesting yeah. um, and trying all new different things but yeah I'd say that that's uh, it's a challenge so roughly how long did it take you Melinda to get to let's say critical mass in terms of the number of users for it to be a meaningful number that you had a lot of anecdotal feedback coming through that's interesting because um, well we started 2015 in January with a few hundred mm. subscribers um, to this daily email service and then we've slowly grown and we had 50,000 in December okay. last year which I thought okay this is a good amount and then we doubled to Jan in January we had doubled and then suddenly it started becoming a much more interesting and then when I started talking to investors it was like well when you get to millions we'll have a different kind of conversation and now we're at half a million and thank you and now it's about okay how do we really get to you know if we got to half a million in in two years we can actually get to five mm. million mm. like in a year yeah. or a year and a half AMI. with with the right amount of money yeah. and the yeah. right team behind yeah. us so I think there's there's no sort of critical mass but it's about sort of that engagement when we could start seeing that people were engaging with the content mm -hmm. and our open rates were really high and we has had those people coming back all the time that was a thing that said okay this is actually working, yeah, yeah. right? So I didn't know if it was going to work before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a way of just saying, oh, yeah, like, let's test this out. Does anyone care about this? Yeah. And yes, they do. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, they do. I, I can imagine. I've tried it. I think it's a fantastic service. Thank so you. So in terms of ramping up momentum and keeping some of this really fantastic growth and interactivity going, uh, what are some of the tools and services you're planning for the next, say, couple of years? Without well, giving away any trade secrets. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> so we're definitely going to be introducing more personalization features in the app. Yeah. And um, I think the most um, important insight that, one of, that we get from our consumers is how did you know I'm going to need that information? And it's almost like we're rethinking and thinking for them and we go, yeah, so this is how you're feeling and this is what we're giving you. Gotcha. So we want to ramp that up and um, give it much more personalization mm -hmm. and which may include um, people, you know, giving us information so that we can give them back information. Um, it also may include some kind of e-commerce offering that not only are we giving them some information that's really, really important, but also we're telling them what they need to buy. So tell me what I need to know, tell me what I need to buy, help me through this whole quagmire of stuff I have to deal with and, and we're going to be there. We are that kind of the experts in the back pocket, in, on the app, every single day, helping them through all of the different things that they need yeah. to navigate through pregnancy and, as you said, um, yeah. for three years afterwards. And I can speak firsthand. Uh, I now have a <laughs> one-year-old. It's very vivacious and lively. wonder where he gets that from. Um, and I have to say, at the time when I was going through my pregnancy, it was absolutely overwhelming and daunting, just how much there was, and actually yet how little there was. Because you had to sift through something like 20 websites just yeah. to get sort of five key points or five takeaways that actually worked for you individually. So I think that's fantastic, because it goes beyond a very standard generic checklist that a hospital or a midwife or someone else gives you. Yeah, and I mean, well, one of the things that I, try, I set out to do here is, you know, one of the pain points for, for women is that it's overwhelming, right? Mm. Just as you said, there's a ton of information out there but what is relevant for you? And how is it delivered to you? So, you know, if you want to go and look for kind of fitness and pregnancy, there's tons of things, but what do you do today? And it's about breaking that down, distilling it down, and our algorithms mm -hmm. will actually give you just what you need for mm -hmm. that day and right. also to optimize your health. Right. So it's not only about just saying keeping healthy generically, it's about actually giving the right nutrients every single week so that your baby gets the right nutrients, mm -hmm. so that your baby grows better mm -hmm. while it's inside mm -hmm. you and then post yeah. that you can look after yourself yeah. after. That's interesting. Well. That makes for a healthy mom, healthy, happy mom. Yeah. And actually, healthy, happy mom conversely makes for a healthy baby. So it's exactly. a virtuous cycle. <laughs> exactly. And I'd say, I suppose, as a final question, that's where do you like see that. this so, 10 years sure from now? That's quite ambitious. I, I think you guys have something really fantastic here that could be quite a permanent fixture in the long term. And we usually ask entrepreneurs about this sort of two to three year forecast. But 10 years from now, is this going to be a movement? 
This is going to be a movement. This is going to be the go-to global brand. We'll be in different languages. We will be all over the world. We will be inspiring women to live better, to make healthier choices, and inspiring a healthier generation. And that's yeah. my vision. And I'm not stopping Fantastic. until I get there. <laughs> well done. Melinda, thank you so much for thank chatting you. to us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Thank you.